Hey, AC Ross here again. I'll be making educational videos for Dr. Ditch on how to approach ideas regarding this assignment. I believe it's the final assignment for the class. Without further ado, let's go over some tips on how to brainstorm and how not to struggle with developing those ideas as a person or individual or as a group. So let's begin. Before we approach going over this script and such, I wanted to first give tips on how to effectively brainstorm because sometimes approaching these ideas can be a little rough. And you may ask, how? And my answer to that is, um, well, we have several distractions nowadays in our day-to-day -day lives, and it's very hard to get yourself out of all these distractions and to stay motivated. So without further ado, let's go over some tips. First tip is find an environment in which there's very little distractions. Uh, take you and your group mates and just go somewhere where it's separate from your TV, your computer, to where um, it seems like more of an educational environment. Typically, uh, I go to the library, the school library, to free myself from all these distractions because my biggest one is when my roommate comes home and they start talking to me. So that's my first tip. My second tip is that pesky phone of yours. Basically, just put on vibration mode, flip it over, and put it on the table. Then, all you have to do is just jot down any ideas that you have for your group. I prefer this step in a group setting, but really just depends on the type of individual that you are. Just remember that matches is never more important than the money you're spending on an intense education. Hey, did you hear what narrator me said? Don't look at your phone! Anyway, you'll just get into a meditative-like state, and without the distractions, you'll just start jotting down idea after idea. It just kind of helps, so just don't distract yourself and work on your project. I assume you already have a good argument for your project, but just be sure to get you and your group together just to create potential ideas just in a list. Caution though, make sure your ideas are doable. You're not trying to make the next blockbuster here. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. In this scenario, less is more. To conclude, it's important to get a brainstorm of ideas flowing just so that you and your group can get together, narrow down what suits you best. You can uh, choose one from the list or create an awesome hybrid of ideas because that's the whole point of doing a group project is that everyone can contribute and everyone has a unique view. And, and that's how in Hollywood they make such great films like There Will Be Blood that we just reenacted or whatever. To conclude, it will make writing the script easier, which I guess we'll get to that in the next video. But that's all I have for now, so toodles till next time. I shouldn't say toodles.